In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to play with a PlayStation 4 controller on GTA 5 PC Epic Games. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. If you want to play GTA 5 or any other game available on Epic Games and use a PlayStation 4 controller, I'm gonna show you two methods that are going to make this process very easy to set up. So, first, what I recommend is that you go ahead and open up Steam. This might seem weird, but the reason why we want to use the Steam Launcher is because Steam has a feature called Steam Input. Steam Input automatically detects and sets up any controllers that we connect to our PCs. So this is why I recommend that you try this out first. This way you won't have to download anything extra. So if you already have the Steam Launcher, all that you have to do is click the option to add a game at the bottom left and then add a non-Steam game. In here, we have to add two things. First, look for the Epic Games Launcher. You will be able to actually add the Epic Games Launcher to Steam, and you can do the same with the Rockstar Games Launcher. So just go ahead and add both of these launchers to Steam. Once you have them added, you will be able to look for them over here. Now, first, I recommend that you launch the Epic Games Launcher through Steam. You will notice that I am playing GTA 5 through Steam itself. I apologize, I don't own it on Epic Games, but I'm still gonna give you the process on how to set up your PlayStation 4 controller if you are playing through Epic Games. So in here, click on Play on Epic Games Launcher, and as you might expect, the Epic Games Launcher is going to open. Now you can go ahead inside of the actual Epic Games Launcher and just run GTA 5 from here. This will eventually open up GTA 5 and you are basically good to go. You should be able to natively use your PlayStation 4 controller. You can also right click the Epic Games Launcher, go into Properties and in here make sure that Steam Input is enabled. You can do the same for the Rockstar Games Launcher. So Properties, Controller, Enable, Steam Input. Once Steam Input is set up, you will be able to go over to the Controller Configurator and manually change all of the settings here if you wish. You can edit the layout and customize everything to your own liking. Once all of this is set up, you can just go inside of the game and enjoy GTA 5. Alternatively, if this does not work or you find it too confusing, you will have to download this extra tool, DS4 Windows. You can find DS4 Windows on this website at ds4-windows.com and as the name suggests, this will help you set up any DualShock or DualSense controllers that you have. Just open the executable file once you extract this somewhere and you will be able to set up a new profile for your DualShock controller. You just have to let this run on the background and your controller will be detected and set up. I hope I was able to help you on how to play with a PlayStation 4 controller on GTA 5 PC Epic Games. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.